Can we get this face out? Yeah. Thank you. That's like a nine-year-old photograph. Um, so yeah, uh, first of all, it's an honor to be here. It's been such an inspirational day for me personally. Uh, everyone who's come here has been uh, phenomenal. I mean, we've just been blown away. Uh, totally loved uh, every session. So thank you, everybody, uh, for making this happen. Uh, before, I, before I move on to talk about what we do, I'd just like to ask a simple question. And it would be great if you could just, with a show of hands, answer this question. How many of you read the morning newspaper? Awesome. That's a lot of people. OK. And how many of you feel really good after reading the morning newspaper? So, so I mean, I just see like three or four hands. Now, here's the question, right? We spend our mornings reading newspapers, but it absolutely does nothing to you. It doesn't make you smile. It doesn't make you think about things. It doesn't make you solve things. So the idea, really, you know, Anuradha and I, uh, who's the co-founder and also my wife, uh, flipping newspapers every morning. And then we figured, hey, you know, the country is not about this, right? In a country of about a billion people, we've got to have a lot more good happening. I mean, this is a great pool of people here. Uh, everyone's doing good. And why isn't this being talked about? Why is this being restricted to events and in silos, you know, and just happening at a policy level? So we decided, hey, can we just set up a news site which reports positive news from across the country? Uh, so we are Bangalore-based, so we went around on weekends covering unsung heroes of Bangalore, putting it up on a blog, and you know, just, just sharing it with people, you know, sharing it with friends, sharing it with colleagues. And slowly, people started liking what we were doing. And then someone from Delhi got in touch, saying, hey, you know, I can cover Delhi for you. And then someone from Mumbai, and someone from Chennai. And today, we have a network of 500 people across the country reporting stories of change. You know. <laughs> this was a journey of about six, seven years. Today, we're being read by almost about 2 million people every month. And the crux of this whole thing is that by reporting positive news, we are showing to, to, to media at large that, you know, it's not just negative news that sells. You know, positive news, if you really present it well, it goes way beyond, uh, you know, all the sensationalism that you see in the world out there. So let me tell you a little bit about what we do. We're basically trying to transform what you think about news, right? Can we say, can we question, can news enable you to do a lot more? We're trying to showcase impact news. We talk a lot about unsung heroes. We, in fact, unsung heroes and grassroots innovations are the two key things that we focus on. Of course, we do a whole lot of other things as well. And by doing this, by sharing positive news, we're trying to promote cross-pollination of ideas. We're trying to inspire people. We're taking ideas which have worked in some community in Punjab and see, hey, if it can work in a community in Tamil Nadu. And it's actually happening. You know, so I'll give you an example of how we really, you know, so this was a, like, just a step back. This was just a side project. It was a hobby. We had our day jobs. And then one day, we ran a story about a club, a photography club run by visually impaired people. We were like, wow, I mean, photography and run by visually impaired people. So we ran this story. Two days later, we get, a, we get an email written by a girl who is visually impaired. She said, I always dreamt of doing this. But I never knew that it was possible. And your story made me do this. And she went and joined that photography club. And that is the day we realized that, hey, you know, you can use news to drive change. <laughs> and that was when one of us quit our jobs, got onto this full time. Then I quit my job about three years ago. And we've been together doing this for almost about four years. Um, so what's the point? Right? What's the point of sharing positive news? I mean, nobody questions mainstream media what's the point of sharing negative news. But you know, it becomes important for us to justify what are we doing. And what I'm going to talk to you about is the impact that news has been uh, you know, creating, catalyzing, by us just sharing it on, a, on an online portal. I'll talk about one story. There is an organization called Praful Urja, which basically works with children with special needs using the medium of yoga. We ran this story, and that's the impact. I'm going to read it out to you in their own words. 
We believe it was the most viewed article around the world. We had people contact us from the US, Europe, Middle East, Africa, and of course India. And this include other yoga teachers who want to work with us, you know, media conglomerates like ABC News in the US, uh, Good Morning America, parents with special needs children, and students who basically went and volunteered with them. You know, all along they were a small movement, and us publishing a, you know, this story took them to a very global platform. Similarly, uh, Aditya Mehta, who had met with an accident, and he's been working uh, you know, for the support of para-athletes. We ran a story, and he raised enough money to support three other para-athletes. So again, an impact purely by just a story. Handi Marshall is a very interesting organization. You know, we have children with special needs, and urban areas like Bangalore, Mumbai, have access to conclaves like these. But what about people in remote areas, like in the Himalayas? You know, the remote corners of Himachal, right? And this is an organization working over there. And what happened after we ran the story is that therapists from across India lined up to go there and spend three months and volunteer and help the children with special needs. So we actually got this movement going by sharing the story. And I think the biggest impact of all has been Ajit Babu. We ran a story. He's got a whole lot of proposals. So we're not only just driving social impact, we're also driving matrimony impact. <laughs> Thank you, Ajit. That was his tweet to us. Uh, so I would like to just end on this you know, with, a, with a small four-minute visual. Uh, could I have that? Oh, yes, we did. I guess it all started with a dream of this boy, so-called labeled with Asperger's, special needs, ADHD, Atra Puriyar Dille, Vivram Teriyadir, you know, with someone who doesn't have that kind of an emotional quotient to understand life properly. That was his dream. All I did was, as a mother and as a professional, to try and help him set up this entire uh, uh, initiative. We make muffins, uh, cookies, blondies, brownies and uh, it's a, a yummy exercise for all of them because they love doing it and at the end of it all of us get a piece of what we bake as well. How this is different is, though it's called Sai Bakery, it's, uh, it's not only bakery. This is a place where adults from the neighbourhood come in and then we provide a canopy for them where all the following areas are taken care of. Physical, mental, social, psychological, and finally, the economical aspect. So what we do here is, like we start the day with our prayers, uh, we have our yoga session, we have exercise. How much they do is a different ball game. They know that these are the aspects, which is good for them. We all talk about page three in the society, but trust me, when Shoma walks in, she doesn't walk in, she actually comes in a wheelchair. And after coming here, she started actually using her left hand, which was a very difficult task for her. And I think this really calls for a real page three celebration. Even in Sai creation, what we do is upcycle all the bottles and, and dabbas and newspapers and everything that we get. And I think it's time the community also realized that it has some responsibility towards supporting. We do not ask you for, for money. Give us a chance, once a month, give us a table. We'll come, the group will come put up our uh, products that we make. 
you don't have to buy because we make thank you cards you know handmade thank you cards and we give it to everybody for helping us create an awareness and sensitivity so looking at it uh, i guess please come and uh, you spend a day with us and uh, enjoy life the way we do and i'm sure you will know that life is really worth uh, living in a beautiful way Thank you. Uh, so this is one of the many thousands yeah, of and, stories. And I wanted to share my part of it. Uh, after yes. you ran the story, my Facebook got bombarded and the Twitter got bombarded with firstly the shares because it went viral, and inbox was full of inquiries. Ma'am, I want to do rallies the way you did. I want to do biking the way you did, and so many entries came forward that in the speed sprint organized by Mr. Sudhir Barar in Suraj Kund. they had to create a special class for people with invalid carriages and doing the speed sprint rally wow and we are again creating a special class in upcoming royal rajasthan rally we are having almost 5 to 6 uh, invalid carriages participating as a separate class in the rallies so definitely and about there have been more 15 inquiries of how to get the vehicles modified how to get registered and how to actually learn driving So I guess you do make a difference there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. In conclusion, I mean really uh, to just sum it up we're using the power of storytelling to bring about a change. Do check us out we call the betterindia.com. Thank you. Thank you very much. The month.